Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial that I've been planning to do for a very long time and I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. Before I start, I want to give you a little bit of history about how I learned to do this. When I was 19 years old, I had just cut my hair and I was trying to flick it. So while I was trying to get this little flick look, I ended up with curls. So since that day, it's been my go-to method. Um, and it's also something that I find very quick to do, very easy to do. When I lived on the south coast, I would generally prepare uh, by washing my hair the day before. I found that if I curled my hair on the day that I washed it, um, my curls would flop very easily. But while I'm in Johannesburg and it's quite dry here, I find that washing my hair on the day and just putting conditioner on the ends rather than the top allows my curls to stay quite long. Depending obviously on your hair texture and how your hair actually is, you might need to put in some uh, spray afterwards to hold. Um, I don't usually do that, but it's something that you can add in. Um, and I say this is easy and it's something I've been doing since, as I mentioned, I'm 19. I was 19 years old. Um, I wish I was. 19, I'm not 19 anymore, but something I've been doing since I was 19 years old. And because it's something I've been doing for so many years, I've been able to adapt this into uh, my lifestyle now. And especially with the two kids, I want easy and I want minimalistic. I don't want to have to go through a whole lot of stuff to actually get my hair done. So you'll see that I have my makeup on already because most days, especially with the kids, it's a, am I going to have time to do it? So for me, more importantly, I want to have my makeup done and afterwards I'll decide whether I'm going to go for a straight look, um, a slightly wavy look, my hair up or I'm going to actually have full on curls. So I would generally do my makeup first and then I would curl my hair. Things that I use, obviously just a brush to comb out and make sure that I don't have any knots. Um, and that's something I would do first and make sure that my hair is nice and sleek, as sleek as it can be. My rubber band, so I don't use any funky grips or fancy grips, literally just my rubber band or your little hair band. Um, obviously my hair iron um, and I have a GHD that I use. This one, I mean, I've literally, I curl with it, I straighten with it, it's, I, I do everything with it. And then I have a teasing brush, um, which I'll just use to add some volume at the end. And that's literally all I have. First thing I like to do is just get my hair up into a half pony so that I only have the bottom. And then I use my little hairband to get that up and away from my face. Um, and then again, just running my brush through my hair that literally just from lying on my gown um, it gets some knots so yeah so we're gonna start what I would use is about I would say half a finger uh, thickness of hair that's about generally how much I would use and then we're going to use uh, my GHD my iron like so I start at the top I pull down halfway through and I start to twist. I hold this part as I go and I keep twisting and pulling. Then I get to the bottom. As I get to the bottom, I just do that. Give it a few seconds. And I like to, you can see there's a little bit sticking out there, but I like to get it all in can actually get it cold right to the end and you don't have flat ends and then you let go so that's it Okay, so we've completed most of the bottom and uh, one quadrant on the side. I just wanted to show you how much I take out at each time. So it's basically just a quadrant at a time like so. And depending on how big or how uh, loose you want your curl, you could do a thicker amount. So when I get to the parts with a bit more layers, um, I would do more of a, um, a bigger curl, so not as tight. Uh, when I'm at the longer parts, I keep them quite tight. So you could also do that. So I've got some short layers in the front that I make more of a bigger curl um, on as well. So you could you could do similar. So when I open it up again, I want to just brush through it. And then 
section and curl. So I'm going to get through the rest of this hair um, and afterwards I will show you how I style it, how I tease a little bit and how I loosen up the curls as well. Okay, so now that I'm all done, what I would generally do is run my fingers through it, like so, just roughly. So I just use my teasing brush at the end, just to tease a little bit, just a little so we don't damage the hair, don't break the hair. If your curls are prone to falling, I would suggest at this point you spray them. That's it. And now just to add the final touches with my outfit of the day and I am good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you'd like more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.